Claire, thanks very much for joining us on our Shugby TV. Looking ahead to the World Cup, you must be very excited at this stage. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. It's completely, I think, even time has gone so quickly since we got the, we had obviously the two training weekends when there was 32 of us. And then it just kind of seemed like a nervous wait until we found out we were in the 26th. But then time has just shot by because now we're in our last camp now before with the friendly on Wales on Sunday. So time has just kind of shot by, like it doesn't feel like anything's happened in the last, since we've been home for the summer. It's just amazing. You've been here. You have, you mm. uh, live in... Car you live in Bristol. Oh, I was called, I'm studying over in Wales in Cardiff and what's called I'm now back for the summer at home in Galway trying to work and <laughs> do the training and stuff like that. And I'm lucky then there's Carl Staunton, another one of the players in the squad, so we can train together. We're lucky to have each other. It makes a world of difference having someone else to train with because that was one of the difficult things during the Six Nations was training on your own in Cardiff. You could rope in other university rugby girls in, but it's not quite the same standard and you don't have the same goal. Yeah. But it was still good. But to have Carl now is just a huge asset. Are you both backs? We're both flankers. Well, Carl was a number eight as well, but we're both flankers and we'd have played together at Connacht and we kind of know each other very well and we kind of match each other very well when it comes to training and stuff. That helps so, a lot, I'd imagine. Yeah, no, it's very beneficial. Like, Carl would be very good with technique and that may not have been my kind of thing, but I'd watch her and then I'd have it down. So I'd be more intended to load up the bar instead of concentrating on people. Carl would have you there and she's very meticulous whereas I wouldn't be quite as meticulous as yourself, so it's a good mix. So it helps out if you help each other out a lot then? Yeah, yeah, and we'd have a great setup in the Connacht branch, have been really good at facilitating us, they've welcomed us into the Connacht men's gym and they've had us in sessions and they've even invited us to the men's sessions, so we've actually can, took part in the men's speed and wrestling sessions in, of late, which have been fantastic, because just to see the physicality in the wrestling, you kind of want to raise your own aggression in the game to match the level that's in the men's, because sometimes in women's game you can see this just that little bit of regression lacking but when you see the men's at it you kind of you you get in you get stuck in you're kind of like well this is normal i should be raising my level up to that yeah and the intensity the intensity yeah, yeah terrific that sounds great that's yeah. a it's nice of them to involve you i mean uh, yeah, i'm sure it benefited good. everyone yeah i know i think well obviously the men having two girls there they're conscious that you know they're professionals they want to show us that this is how the professionals train so we can only hope that we help their session but like it was a massive improvement for us because we're training with a bunch of people as opposed to two so you kind of you raise up and then with the lads you're like well I know I'm fast with women's but when it's men it's a different story so like anything you get on them it's just a bonus really <laughs> and they get slagged after it obviously yeah. yeah tell us a little bit about you being the spy in um, English rugby then with them first up in the World Cup uh, well, I wouldn't quite say the spy, but I've been based. I've been playing my rugby in Bristol the last year. I moved from my local club Cardiff Queens to the English League, to the English Premiership, to kind of get a better standard of rugby, and it's been fantastic. Um, I'll actually be playing with um, Catherine Spencer, who's the England captain, the number eight, and then uh, Sophie Hemming and a prop will be there. So they're kind of very, oh, they're fantastic players to play with, and they're awful players to play against. Um, but yeah, it's been great kind of getting to see the different sides of the game, and then even playing other teams in the Premiership, like the likes of Richmond, which. Uh, our Joe Sullivan plays for sure, half the teams, uh, the English team, or have been capped. So it's got a fantastic standard of rugby to be playing against, and just kind of the speed of the game is brilliant. And you just learn so much. Even the quality of the training is kind of everything's kind of stepped up, and people you're brought up to another level, and you're aiming for higher and higher. It's very intense, and it's just been a fantastic experience. So you have your work cut out, but you know a lot about them, and the expectations are high within the Irish camp. Yeah, there's we're very hopeful. Like was called talking about taking a big scalp out of the England. Like we know that they're going to be wary of us, and they're always wary of us because we always put it up to them. But we always, in some ways, we don't perform as well as we should against England. And there's particularly the first ten minutes of that Six Nations game where we conceded two tries. We ourselves weren't happy with that, but then we defended and we scored tries against them. So, so you can do it? We can do it, definitely. Just a matter of performing on the day and concentration for the full 80, really. Best luck for the entire World Cup, not yeah. just the one against England. Yeah. So. yeah. so yeah, we've got some playing USA and other kind of physical teams similar to England from what the girls are saying. Like, I'm very new to this <laughs> setup, so I don't quite know the, the teams outside the Six Nations, but from what I hear, they're a big pack like England, so we'll just have to knuckle down as a smaller side and just kind of fight our individual battles and just concentrate on set piece and just kind of working our way through and playing our rugby and playing the way we play rather than kind of going to their level or go to their style of rugby it's just kind of having confidence in our own performance really against them well i hope you do well and best luck thanks, thanks very much thank you